Hello everybody and welcome back to Blazer Dragon Plays Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door where we last left off the emulator glitched the hell out when we got Miss Mouse as our party member so you couldn't find out what she does if you guys didn't know but if you can see she's actually sniffing around the area that's her main sort of out of battle ability so oh okay then well that's just a complete letdown Peace. Yay, Starbeast. She's basically a requirement if you want to find all the hidden star pointer pieces underground, but each screen just uses Miss Mouse, and there you go. She also has the ability to sniff out items that may be nearby, and so on and so forth. Quite a handy little partner, if I do say so myself. Alrighty then, so... I believe our next uh, sort of side mission is to do Pit of 50 Trials. Uh, the reason why is because I don't think I'm quite ready to take on the full 100 yet. Now we also have to make it to floor 18 as a priority in order to complete the trouble, which will actually bag us another one of those membership card things you may have seen before, giving us access to more items and another silly little mini game. Um, what's my Shine Sprite situation? Yeah, I'm going to level her up. See, the bit of a 100 trials actually have the enemies that have the potential to be carrying an attack up badge. It's quite rare, but uh, I've managed to see it pretty much every time I've gone down there. Uh, at least once. So, I'm hoping on this run I'll be as lucky. Eh, I don't fucking know. Um, I don't know if you can see any of this. Uh, sorry if you can, I just need to check something. Okay. <laughs> uh, no thank you. Yeah, 20 HP. She, she's not big in the HT, HT? HP department. But that is not much of a problem, considering I'm not that brilliant with health myself. Okay, um, actually while I... Um, doing my runs, I will talk to you a little bit about what's going on. So, 50 things have been announced with Smash Brothers. Uh, that's a little bit late in my talking about it. I am very pleased, actually, because there's eight player Smash fights, which is awesome because it's my birthday in December and you can bet your ass I'll be doing that. Unless a friend lends me his capture card for the Wii U, I'm not going to be able to show any videos to that, so that's unfortunate. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, yesterday, so I'm sort of dating the recording now. <laughs> uh, they announced Majora's Mask 3D, finally. And people are already bitching that they want a Wii U version. Because of that uh, sort of fake... Well, it's not really a fake trailer, it's actually a project that the guy's working on, so I can't, I can't call it fake. Yeah, I was going to say, in your own time, um, you are not selling anything worth my time. Miss Mouse, you disappoint me. Okay, this place is kind of flickering and it's making me nervous. Blech. So, let's just quickly go to the bit of a hundred trials. I'll probably show a few battles. Um, at least battles that involve new enemies, maybe? I don't know. I do not know. I want to get out of Rogue Port though, because it is causing the emulator to slow down. We'll say the Binding of Isaac Rebirth is out, and Binding of Isaac just happens to be one of my favourite games on Steam. Uh, the trouble is, I don't know if it'll be worth um, not only buying, but also uh, playing on here. Uh, the, the problem I have with the Binding of Isaac Rebirth is that it seems like, you know what, the newer Super Meat Boy? that they released on Steam is. So it's not really like a sequel or anything, it's more like just an updated remake on an actual game engine and whatnot. Which is cool because Flash, as useful as it is, it, there's just some things it can't allow. Hmm. I, I wanted to do the Binding of Isaac, the regular game on here, but Fraps doesn't work with it for some reason and I didn't oh, have any other forms of capturing. Uh-huh. Yep. 
And now we begin our descend to the pit of a hundred trials, but if I'm going to be doing this, I'm going to have a character that I can rely on. You shall do. Now I'm wondering if this will be a good point to uh, equip a certain badge. Now, um, seven F, seven badge points. It's quite an expensive badge, I must say. Uh, okay, let's take that off. Um, and take that off for now. I don't want to, but quick change is quite handy to have. And let's start our first bit of a hundred trials challenge. Pretty simple. It was just a gumba. I'm not actually sure how much health those things have. But you get the idea. So that was a Glumba, I believe. Not 100% sure on that. Uh, when I cut some of these out, I'll probably uh, tweak some of the settings and see if I can do anything to speed it up. Because that would be nice. Yeah, when I next level up, I'm going to have to put it into flower points. Make myself feel better. There might be a state uh, point where I just start massacring amazing daisies just so I can get more badge points, flower points up and stuff. I know I don't need them, but I like to reassure myself because I always have this like fear I'm going to screw up uh, somewhere along the lines, like during a fight. I don't want any game overs to be shown, or at least any game overs that I don't edit into the game itself. Okay, uh, let's see. yeah, you better go first, I'm going to guarantee your death. Again, no idea how much health that guy actually has. So for the most part, it seems like it's just uh, these Glumba guys and spinners and the occasional dry bone. Yeah, the Pit of 100 Charles stays pretty simplistic for the uh, first part of the game. Yay, I win. Uh, okay, yeah, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to skip to the final floor. Not the actual final floor at this place. Uh, I'm going to skip to floor 10 unless anything interesting pops up along the way, which I don't think so because it seems like all the enemies I'm fighting so far we've seen before. But there are exclusive enemies uh, down here, so, you know, like the Glumbers. Uh, I will see you and on. Uh, and I am back, and this is floor 10, so every 10th te uh, floor you get a badge of some description. Whether it's good or not is beside the point. And you also see a merchant selling all kinds of goodies. Now if you notice, these are a little bit pricey. Uh, these actually get more expensive the further you go down, as they start to become more uh, important, shall we say. I'm going to get a super mushroom just so I can, you know, put myself at ease. Uh, I think that shall do it. But yeah, the, t the tenth floor is always, you know, a goodie of some kind. The merchant won't always be there. It's quite handy if he is. Now we have a power glumba. Power? Power. Power glumba. Ugh. I also did try to do some tweaking whether or not... God damn it. Whether or not it'll actually do anything of particular interest is a different story altogether, but whatever. I can't be dealing with this or bother to be dealing with this. I'm just going to use Art Attack, because why the hell not? Yeah, it seems to be running a little bit better, at least in comparison to what it was like before. Uh, as long as I can get... Actually, the Glumba should be dead now, so all I need to do is circle the spider. Spider. Wonderful. Obviously, the more awkward shapes the enemies have, the more difficult it is to try and draw circles around them. Might have been a waste of SP, but whatever. 
I used a lot of FP around abouts as well. Never mind, I got some back. Yay! I'm I'm probably gonna show a few of the early floors just so you got something to watch. So you see, I am actually going through with this because I just on the when I first did when I did the first cutout. Sorry, I was basically thinking to myself, okay, you guys aren't getting anything to watch of any battles whatsoever. But honestly, this is all it is. She's gonna have to take a hit here, I think. Yeah, sure, okay. I'm sure can manage. Yeah, the screen is still doing its flickery thing, but oh, God damn it, but it's not as bad to dodge. I'm actually getting, <coughs> I'm actually getting 60 frames most of the time during these battles, which is a good thing and a bad thing. The bad thing is that means doing the super blocks will be harder. The good thing is, it'll run a lot smoother for you guys, and everything will just be a lot faster. Which is excellent. That is what we want. And now we have a Pokey! I haven't seen these since the Blitz Pit. Pokies aren't really a common enemy. Ooh. I bet I'm gonna kill him. Right? Ah. See, in that situation, I probably... Oh, so it does work! Wow. If I'm honest, I don't think I've ever seen an enemy hold on to a life stream. Wow. That that is quite amazed me, actually. Hmm. Intriguing. Yeah, what I was gonna say is I was gonna swap to Miss Mouse and steal it off him, but I was gonna kill him in the process. Uh -huh. I'll keep that in mind. Ugh. My one problem with the Pit of Hundred Trials is when you defeat an enemy and the spoils just fling off in the space. Bloody hell. Got you. Should count as a special hit. Yes. It, it can do two hit points of damage, but timing that right is a little bit wonky. To be honest, I got all my star points from using that art attack back quite quickly. I'm almost tempted to use a sweet treat at some point. Yeah, once again, I'm, I'm sorry about the, the delays between these videos. It's mostly sort of me maintaining my computer. I actually have a new router now set up. I don't know whether that means I'll be able to upload videos quicker. That would be great if I could. Because they're actually still tweaking the settings, so if I can show that I do use this for do require upload speeds, then maybe they will tweak that to my liking, as well as decent speeds for online gaming and such, which you do not see me do much of, but there you go. Oh boy. That is way too much for me to even care. This almost seems like a waste of SP because I could just use Earth Tremor, but I'm not because I am silly like that. Anyway, I'm pretty sure the Pokey is dead. I'll grab a bit of him just in case. There we go. I should take care of you all. And you're out of here. No. These battles are really quite a drag because A, they're not exactly difficult, they don't pose much of a threat, and they give me like no star points. On my next level I'll probably actually put it into badge points. I think that was actually my original plan before putting this badge on. So yeah, as you can imagine this is quite a arduous process. I'd say it wouldn't actually start becoming a challenge till around about the 50. Ish. I mean, I could go down a little bit deeper if I wanted to, but honestly, I think it'd be best if I save that till I definitely know I'm ready. The the thing is, there is a an optional boss in this place, but the difficulty of the boss isn't the boss itself; it's the journey to get to him. Because you got to deal with some pretty tough enemies on the final ten floors before you reach him. The thing is with this guy. Um, he's sort of a reskin of something we've already fought prior. 
and that's why I don't find him to be as that much of a threat whatsoever. I don't want to be too conserv as conservative with my FP, really. Yeah, I'm probably going to show all these flaws. At least this this uh, set, set, uh, this set of flaws is a little bit more interesting than the first ten. Aha! So we're on floor 18. I will just confirm that actually before checking on the dead toad over there. I believe you do actually have to take out the enemies first. And excellent. Yeah, building up star points has gotten really quite easy. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Floor 18? Yeah. I did. This guy will basically be sticking around until I deal with the final few enemies. Wow, I did not have enough time to even react. Anyway, seems Mario can take care of these in that one turn, so I'll use Yoshi to take care of the dark puffs. Click, 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 click. I'm not used to this frame rate. <laughs> It's going to be very difficult to play with it. I, I've tried to fix this many a times, but then the emulator decides to have like a massive hiccup and I don't know why. Yeah, he just goes through the same thing. I want to make sure he's actually following me so I don't have to run back and try and get him again. I mean, it's not a big deal, but still. Yeah, off we go. And within the chest we get a fire drive, which is a really cool badge actually. But I probably won't use it. I might show off the badges later on. Yeah, so as you can see, everything's gone up in price. That's gone up by 15 coins. And these start costing a fortune, as you can imagine, when you get down to the very late floors. Very, very mysterious indeed. So what I'll do is, I'll do this... Ooh, spiky gumba. I'll do a battle down in here again, or one more battle. Ooh, good booze. And I'll probably meet you back at floor 30. Um... Fuck it. It's be I probably wouldn't have done that, but these dudes just have way too many items on their person. So, I want to make sure these things are deaded. And I'm pretty sure that about cuts it. Oh, uh, you can actually meet Amazing Daisies in here. So, I want to make sure I do have enough SP to be dealing with those, but I don't think they're till like, Force 70 and onwards anyway. Then again, I could be wrong. But yeah, I, I definitely want to take those out, given the chance. So yeah, I will meet you at floor 30, unless something interesting pops up in the process. And we made it down to floor 30. Let's just confirm that with the wall. Yep, 20 floors to go, and the merchant is still here, surprisingly. So let's just check uh, how much his goods are now. They are really kicking... He's really kicking up his prices. I don't know how he's making it down there. Zap tap. Do damage to Mario to enemies that damage Mario. Whatever. <laughs> uh, I did actually go up a level, and I put it into badge points and put on spike shield because spiky enemies start to become more frequent. And what good timing that this guy happens to be here. He help, he basically takes you deeper in the dungeon, and even takes you to the entrance. I'm going to save myself a lot of time and go down five levels. It's cheap, but these battles still haven't been particularly difficult. I think on like the latest floors I probably would avoid using him. Oh, actually, I think this is a new enemy. Yeah. Well. How about that then? 
at any rate, it's still, you know, pretty, pretty simple. We are starting to come across enemies that do yield at least one F SP. Although, the point where you fight these guys, like, normally, you should get about three, maybe four star points. Oh, that was a bit slowy. Ugh. Yeah, you gotta go. Get out of here! So yeah, now I can jump on spiky enemies. But I couldn't exactly show that with that fight. It'll be quite a handy badge to have in the next chapter. Like I said, its main use is to deal with uh, spiny power buzzies. <laughs> spiny power buzzy beetles. Ugh. Bit of a mouthful. Oh well, hey, hypercleft. Damn it. Oh well, you are done for. Alright, should be able to take them all out in one turn. Yep. No problem. Oh, that just makes things even easier for me. Ground bound is ASC Arshi. Get sent rid of that courage shell. You got enough defense, you don't need any more. Getting a bit low on the FP department. Um Yeah, I could use that. I wish there was a badge that let you use an item in a turn and still attack the next one. Oh, speaking of power buzzies. Yeah, these guys have a lot of defense. Um, I'm actually going to use Art Attack to deal with these guys. Because we'll just be here forever trying to deal with them. We're getting a lot more freaky enemies now. Well, these guys aren't exactly freaky, we have seen them before. But you know what I mean. And I'm pretty sure these guys are done for now. I don't have that much HP. I think I think they've actually only got two hit points, it's just the fact that their defense is through the roof. That was a lot of star points as well. I'm tempted to use a sweet treat just to get back some of my FP. That doesn't sound like a bad idea at this point. The trouble is, using special attacks like that at this point isn't recommended per se. <laughs> because some of these enemies can do a lot of damage. You should be dead. You're not. Okay. Well... I don't think I've got anything of particular interest. Uh, well, what I'm going to do... Because Mario's the one I want to keep alive the most out of everyone, so let's just use this courage shell. I'm probably going to block them anyway, but it's just in case I screw up. Because these guys, I don't want to mess with these guys. They do hurt. He's actually got two blocks of defense. Well, that'd be handy. Excellent! I think that's like one of the first times I've ever got a bingo at a time where I wanted it. <laughs> that's incredibly helpful. In fact, after taking out the purple shelled Cooper, I might use Sweet Tree Burn. Sounds like a plan. Increase the damage I take even more. Unfortunately, this doesn't work for partners. You can lag all you want, but I'm gonna get it. Now, the problem with this is I'm pretty sure that Yoshi isn't gonna be able to beat him. Of course, it'd be this, this enemy I'd have to deal with. Okay, never mind. Actually very close to floor 40 thanks to that little boost we were given. Actually if I can pick up a lot of FP on the floor that'd be good. As as you progress you do get more rewards. And our next badge. Pity flower. When Mario takes damage occasionally recover one FP. Oh hey. I'll do one battle in here and then I will skip to floor 50. And then I will wrap up there. 
this might hurt. Yeesh. Yeah, these these guys are they're doing a bit of damage to me. Okay. Bit of a cheap way out, but I I don't like the purple shot coopers. Ooh, okay. Got well, there eventually. As long as they're stuck in some form of circle, whether there's a line in it or not, you're good. Right. Okay. <laughs> me, me thing wasn't moving for a second. Alright, I know the parrot because he's dead. Why are you not? Right, he's dead anyway. Wow, four, four SP. SP? Oh, I'm getting me, me peas mixed up. Anyway, uh, and unless I see something interesting along the way, I shall see you. Hi, I found something interesting. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't make it up, could you? Oh, actually, yeah, that's quite a lot of interesting. Mm. Ba -ba -ba -ba. All right, well, I want to give Yoshi something to do. With this. Oh, and there's evidence that I've got that badge on. Yeah, now we're, now we're seeing anim really late game enemies. Well, not necessarily late game, but like the pokey there isn't even in the next chapter. That's why <laughs> he can just do that. Um, I don't think Yoshi can kill them. I'm gonna jump on him just to be safe because I do more damage with my jump. Oh, that could happen. That's good too. Whatever. Good way for to get some star points. Ouch. Yeesh. Okay, poisoned. Yeah, I'm not doing too well in my status department. <laughs> Luckily, effects like that is taken care of uh, every time you clear it. I'm surprised at how long it takes until tasty tonics start becoming necessary. Good lord! I, I thought these uh, these sort of enemies would be on the next fall down. So this is our first fire enemy. We'll actually be seeing a fair few of these. Wow. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of new enemies. That was close. Oh, let's get rid of the poison mushrooms now. Yeah, let's FP. It would be nice. Ah, bollocks! Did I get that last one? No. Darn it! Darn it's all. Um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna deal with this. Let's just get some star points back. Ow! <laughs> oh, now you're gonna wanna suck me bleed. Yes, these enemies are getting a little bit tougher. It's kind of concerning. Bring out an oldie. You guys haven't seen this in a while. I haven't used it that much because of my constant tab out issues, which I have hopefully fixed again. I say I fix a lot of things though, and then the problem comes back again at a later date because this game, or emulator rather, hates me. Or at least it hates me with Paper Mario. I I never had anywhere near this many problems with Wind Waker. That's like the only evidence I have that the emulator just doesn't like this game. Yeah, if I can run something like Wind Waker, but Paper Mario for some reason is like trying to run Battlefield 5. It's gonna happen. Okay, uh, I think that's pretty much all the enemies I'm gonna see, so I will meet you at floor 50. And we've done it, we've made it to floor 50, and our reward, a strange sack. An item that lets you carry up to 20 items. Very, very handy. I, I actually took a bit of a beating on the 
room before getting here. I think that's a pretty good sign to, to, to tell me that I should really wrap this up now. So that was a pit of a... F pit, I was going to say pit of 100 trials. Pit of 50 trials. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing's more important than my dad. Oh, Now I get to play the paper mode! Thing, game, whatever. You solved the trouble. Excellent, 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 excellent. Now I'm pretty sure I did do the thousand year door. I actually can't remember, so let's uh, just quickly check. Yeah, I did. Okay, well, while I'm here, I'm at least going to hit this uh, rather dapper save block. I forget. Did I actually get the shine sprite that's up there? I don't actually remember doing so. I'm just gonna double check that real quick. Ugh. When the spring stops being an asshole. There we go. I probably have. I don't know why it's been so slow around the thousand year door. No need for it. Ugh, I did get it. You can actually jump over the bars. Um, yeah, I might as well just have a casual walk back. Um, for you guys, it's been a couple of minutes. For me, it's been about, I don't know, 20. It's, it's, it doesn't take hugely long, or at least the first 50 floors don't. It's when you start getting into the later ones, you know, giving it room for some really freaky monsters. That's when it starts to become rather difficult. But at least we are done with that for now. Uh, when I next go back there, I'll probably skip right to the 50th floor. Um, but I won't be going there for you know a fair while from now. So we can just enjoy some chapters, uh, a couple more troubles in between, and yeah really wrapping up uh, what what this game has to offer. Okay, so just gonna quickly drop off this membership card and have a look at the game. Ooh. Before I forget though, gimme, give, give me rest. I made a lot of coins of a bank, I did, while I was down there. I slept as good as I'm going to. For some reason that bed's better than the one in the Major League locker room. Don't know why. What are you selling? Nothing of particular interest. Are you going to sell another Power Smash? Make my day, please. Actually, what's going on here? I think I'd be better off not ever speaking. Ah, this is still the pig one. I might might as well go back and read those uh, after the next few chapters. Heck, while I'm here, I might as well check out the lottery. Screw it. What is up with those windows? I didn't see the number. Either way, as usual, I have lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yay! There's still quite a few piantas. The card game. The paper paper game. I can't talk. Ah no 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 it's all going wrong. Dreading when it's there we go. Huh. Ah, so you I can get a HP plus for my partner, should I want to. Yeah, it's a lot more expensive than the regular ones because partner, partner stuff is harder to come by. And because they can't upgrade the HP naturally. Alright, let's have a quick go at the paper game and that should about do it. For this episode at least. I'm not sure how long it will be with all the parts back together, but you, you could, even if it's like or anything you guys could do with a long one anyway, couldn't you? Ooh, lots of lag.
Oh, okay. Guess it's time for me to run. I'm not very good at this. As you can tell. Uh, I'm trying to get as much of a boost as I can. The trouble is, my opponents are sort of forewarned when the turbines are going to start going. Whew. Still, I am in first, and that is good enough for me. I wish the particle effects actually moved in direction of where the wind's going. That would make this very easy there. Now I've got this. Uh, it would be nice if I kept my finger down on the button there. Excellent. Yep. I have one! Yay! Pretty easy stuff. And I get 15 counters. And five more for being first. Oh, I just noticed Luigi was there. No. Yeah, Luigi's off having... He's really not telling his stories right, you know, his adventures in the Waffle Kingdom. Anyway... Oh yeah, you gotta take tokens off me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Uh, in the next episode, we better get our butts off and get in that next crystal star. It's been ages since we've actually done so, or I've done so. Not, it's not you, your guy's fault. So, let's just give this save block here another whack. Keep everything saved up. Alrighty then, so I will talk to you next time on Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door.